Vegas. We're watching developing news out of Las Vegas. Two people were found stabbed to death at a hotel room on the Strip. It happened at the Circus Circus Hotel and Casino. Police say the man and woman were Vietnamese tourists in Vegas as part of a tour group. Now police are investigating this as a double homicide. After weeks of will they or won't they, President Trump now says they will. The summit between the president and North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un is back on with lowered expectations. Fox News correspondent Lauren Blanchard is in Washington with the latest. An Oval Office meeting between Kim Jong-un's right-hand man, Kim Young-chol, and President Trump lasted nearly two hours. A New York man evicted by his parents is finally leaving home and speaking out about it. It took a court order to get Michael Rotondo to leave the nest. His parents filed a petition with New York Supreme Court saying they had enough of their son living under their roof. A judge ordered Rotondo to move out by June 1st, so he packed his things into a station wagon, which needed a jump to get going. Parents lost their keys back for you. I just tossed the kids in and I said, Are they at home? home? Have they been home? This they have. Rotundo maintains that he will no longer have a relationship with his parents. He told reporters he planned to spend the next week at an Airbnb. After that, he planned on moving in with a distant cousin. He didn't say whether he was going to look for his own place. The bathrooms are getting smaller on American Airlines flights. It's just 24 inches wide. No one likes it. Not travel bloggers, consumer advocates, passengers, or flight attendants. For some people, the smaller bathroom might mean they can't fit into it. The first flights with the small bathrooms will be on the New York to Miami route. A kindergartner in Texas is melting hearts with a small act of kindness. Asher was caught on cam participating in his class's daily morning ritual. Each student is welcomed by name, given a handshake, smile, and sometimes even a hug. Teacher Ashley Taylor says she started this practice to help build positive interactions between her students. 